Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Welcome to Liberationist Republic High on the Voluntary Virtues Network, brought to you in part by LibertarianGay.org. Uh, press X for liberty. Okay. You guys know it's me. Uh, obviously, Liberationist Republic High, my show. Lower third says my name. Kind of a ain't-no-shit, no-brainer kind of thing. Just figured I'd dress up as Santa just for some giggles, just to see if it would bring in any views. i got to... Fix this here. Came on button somehow. Anyways, I am talking with the esteemed Stetson of LibertarianGaming.org. This gentleman, he runs the Minecraft server. He is a god on all things Apple and figuring out server things. This dude is just awesome. And if you do not know of him yet, shame on you. <laughs> I mean, that's really all it comes down to. Uh, this this episode, we're just going to do a, kind of a year in review. I mean, we've had just a great successful run here on the Voluntary Virtues Network with my show, Libertarian Gaming, just since late July, has been fucking exploding. And now that they've got me on board, you know, hopefully we can turn out some fun content. So there's going to be some fun announcements on things uh, over the next probably couple of weeks when it comes to videos and new content, new shows, just a whole lot of new things that we're branching out and doing. Uh, so I guess we'll uh, let you introduce yourself, Stetson, and uh, what you do, what you like, and how you got started with the whole LG thing. Oh, okay. Well, uh, hi, I'm Stetson uh, with Libertarian Gaming. Um, I uh, was invited to Libertarian Gaming by Varus, who's the original uh, owner of the page. Uh, from there, I came up with this brilliant idea of why don't we have a website and why don't we host it in my back room? Um, well, it actually it, it was very bad at first, and then it got a lot better. Uh, so now we start writing reviews. You can go to uh, libertariangaming.org, uh, see everything that we write. Uh, we have a lot of plans for expanding. Uh, we've made a lot of progress in expanding this. It's uh, the website is exponentially better than when it started. Um, uh, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Yeah, very good. Yeah, it's just seeing the transformation that it's made. Now, granted, I get to play a little bit of insider baseball. I get to see when all the updates happen and uh, just get to see all the struggles that everybody goes through since I have zero background, zero knowledge of how to do any of that shit. Uh, it's just really fun to watch how things have gone from, uh, I don't want to say complete shit, but it sort of sucked even, you know, a month and a half ago compared to now. I mean, it is glorious. It looks just fucking great. Uh, and that's not just me giving lip service because I happen to be part of the organization. I'm not the kind of guy who just brown noses for giggles. Um, so, when you got on board with LG, what was it that you were mostly tasked with doing? Was it just the Minecraft server, or did that just kind of come up out of nowhere? Or you know, How did that whole thing progress when you got started? Uh, a lot of the things that... Uh, <laughs> the way that it kind of progresses, I wanted to be on it because I love video games. Um, uh, but I also wanted to see what it would be like to actually run a server. And I thought, you know, this may be completely stupid and it'll never work and I shouldn't even try but we're going to do it anyways Varys and I we have little Friday nights where we go out and drink and we'll just talk about stuff like this for for hours uh, and sometimes we'll just get drunkenly t uh, type happy and uh, start working on stuff on the website and it actually turns out to be a good design um, most of the stuff on the website <laughs> is uh, from those moments the whole design of the website the way it looks uh, just us just I think uh we stayed up two nights just getting the basics down. Uh, and then from there, Ferris added on stuff, and I added on stuff. Uh, and uh, But uh, it, 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 when I started, we didn't think we would get this far. Uh, one day we wanted to play Minecraft, and we thought, well, why don't we have a Minecraft server? And I said, well, okay, well, let's just set one up on the same server we're using because it's not doing much. Uh, and uh, we set that up. It turned out to be kind of a big deal. Uh, it's not as popular as it was in its prime. We'll probably come back to it and work on it again. Uh, currently, we're just working on a whole lot of other stuff. Um, so, But we got people like you, Adam, uh, who are managing it and taking care of the whitelisting and everything. So uh, we don't really have to worry all that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and I... I also do a pre being given the rain. Uh, it's it's really kind of cool. I've never been put in that position before. I mean, I'm part of the Voluntary Virtues Network here, so you know, I get 
little bits of power here and there. I post content for a larger organization, but to be actually given the keys to a Minecraft server is something that I never in my wildest dreams would have thought I was going to get essentially, you know, even two, three, four months ago, uh, whatever it was that I first started on. Uh, and it's it's honestly kind of amazing when we look back at it. Um, you know, I was just this dude who was part of a show that Varys would I think maybe you were part of one of the early shows, or maybe it was Varys first that got me into it. I don't remember. But you know, several months ago, and just fast-tracked so quickly uh, kind of through the organization. I almost kind of feel bad that maybe there's some veterans who are, have been around in LG for a while that uh, they're <laughs> they're not quite as far along as I am. And i just just kind of curious, what, what gave you the, the guys the mindset to want to kind of put me into a leadership position? Uh, well, I mean, you, you've always been really nice, and uh, the Minecraft server is, is something that you got really into, so we figured uh, giving the keys would not, it wouldn't be a bad idea. It's, it's not like there's a lot of room to wreck anything the way that I have it set up. We uh, do have time, or what Apple calls time machine backups, to where if someone decided to blow up the world, and please do not test this, uh, we could we could at least revert it to an earlier point in time where it, it, it was it was currently functioning. Uh, and I do regular backups of the server all the time, just in case someone who's not supposed to be on there gets whitelisted, we didn't know about it, and by the time we get around to it, things are gone or missing or incomplete. Uh, uh, we actually did do a big move. The Minecraft server is on a completely different computer than the actual website. It's two separate computers. Uh, the Minecraft server takes up a lot of resources, so we moved it over to a higher end. Uh, it's actually my old laptop. Uh, it's a, a MacBook Pro 17-inch, uh, late 2000 or early 2011. Uh, but it's got nice processor, uh, nice uh, GPU, but it also has a 500 gigabyte solid state. So it, we think that it runs faster. Uh, <laughs> I've tested it a few times, and I've been kind of doing some tests on it, uh, but uh, I, I haven't found as many errors as, as on the other uh, computer there. Um, so it seems to be working correctly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, I find it really funny is I can tell when people get on the Minecraft server because I can hear the fan just increase a little bit. on the. So it's just right above. <laughs> it's on. I have a two-layer desk, and it's just on the top shelf here. Uh, but I can hear when people log in. It's kind of I, it's kind of funny. I can go up there and see what they're doing, and so I have fun too. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, I've always you know, I I had the base knowledge that you could host servers on on basic computers, or you could do one of those crazy rack mounts with these crazy motherboards with the the, the Xeon processors and 128 gigs of RAM with with other kinds of psycho bullshit, but running it off a of Mac, Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, that's just there's just something really cool and basic and just, damn, dude, uh, that comes off of that in my opinion. I mean, it's just, I don't know, technology just amazes me at this point in time, you know. Yeah, and one of the things I like about the running server on Mac OS, and I'm sure people would disagree with me all kinds of here, but it's. It's not as good as running on, on a straight Linux server. I'll, I'll give people that. If you run it on a Linux server, Linux doesn't use any resources. In fact, you can cut out the GUI part and just have it run that way. Um, but Mac is a very good in-between. It doesn't eat up as much resources as, as a Windows server would, um, but it still has the same functionality, You know, the same money behind it. Uh, unlike whereas Linux, you're not going to get a lot of development staff to walk you through how to do anything. Right, Linux is uh, Google search. You go and uh, play with the community, and really, that's about it. That's what I learned when I had a phase when I was running almost exclusively Ubuntu, uh, just because you know I fuck Windows at the time. Nothing was playing right on it until I realized that there were drivers that I could easily download in 45 seconds to do it. Uh, but that was me being a lazy asshole. Also, at the peak of my uh, conspiracy theory, Alex Jones period. Uh, thinking, oh, if I'm running Linux, which can't get viruses anyways unless I try to download them, you know, the feds can't come see me, and then you realize that the NSA really could do whatever the hell they wanted just for giggles. So those kind of 
an exercise in futility. Uh, but I kind of want to take a look uh, and just kind of talk through some things as far as the evolution of the Facebook page. Uh, I'm looking at some of the uh, the stats from early on. Um, you know, on July 10th, 2014, there was 184 likes. And as of this moment, it's at 1,422 likes. All of them unique. All of them are completely homegrown. There's no paying for likes. None of that stuff. It's just people enjoying the content that you guys have put out. And yes, I've commented once or twice and maybe made a cute post every once in a while, but you know, guys like you and Varys and uh, you know Gary and you know everybody else who makes all these posts. You know, it's it's just a really crazy growth. What uh, what can you attribute a lot of that to? Is it uh, a distrust in government? Is it you know, people really like gaming and just think, oh hey, libertarian gaming, we're edgy. Uh, what do you think? Well, uh, yeah, a lot of it has to do with the way that Varys runs a, a web a web page because uh, he's got a lot of experience in running really big web pages like this. Uh, but a lot of it has to do with sometimes we just we get together. And we get in the TeamSpeak server, and we say, okay, let's look at all the posts that we have planned. And it gets to the point where we're just like, oh, this will cause the most butt hurt among the neocons, or this will cause the most butt hurt among the liberals. And we're like, yeah, post it, do it. And uh, we'll, get, we'll, just, we'll just post <laughs> it, and we'll sit there, we'll wait, and it'll just be like, let the butt rumblings begin. Um, and uh, we, I mean, a lot of it is based on controversy. We we do say a lot of controversial things, and that's okay. Um, I uh, I actually don't post as much as Varys or or Gary or a lot of the other people, and that's simply because I do a lot of work. Uh, when I get home, I go to work on the server and make everything, or make sure everything's running fine, uh, test the speeds and. Uh, then go from there. Uh, so when I do make something, I try to make it good, but sometimes it's not, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes it's just something small. Uh, but I, I believe a lot of it has to do with like the controversial things we say, like how you know someone needs uh, to, you know, how a, an anarcho-capitalist society would work without a police state. How we don't need the police state. How no matter how many justifiable things the police state does, it's doing that many unjustifiable things that you don't know about, um, and how politicians are are just you know statist. Uh, uh, and we go in depth on how we could fix these problems, and sometimes it's it's not things that people want to hear. Um, uh, but I think that's kind of how every person who's, who's been on our side, they say things that people don't want to hear. Uh, I'm sure when in 2008 when Ron Paul ran in the presidential debate and he said, well, 9-11 was caused by blowback. We could have stopped it. Uh, a lot of people didn't want to hear it. A lot of people thought he was wrong, but then eventually it became accepted as, oh, yeah, that's how it happened. And eventually it will, it will happen this way. And I think that's where we're getting a lot of our followers. Right, and I don't know if it's just something that I'm noticing or if it's uh, becoming more and more of a trend and it's being more and more intentional. Uh, just when I look back at some of the previous articles that were posted to the page or the previous posts or on the website, uh, I don't want to say that it was tame because obviously our position is kind of far from tame, uh, but it seemed a little bit cushioned, and now it's just kind of fuck it, let's throw everything on the wall and see what shit sticks uh, and <laughs> kind of piss off as many people as possible or uh, you know, just try to raise as much controversy. Are it, is there an intentional uh, uh, clickbaitiness now or is it, uh, is it just more of the same and it, I'm just blowing shit out my ass right now? No, I mean, I don't think that we ever go out there to post things to, uh, to for the pure sake of butt rumbling. We, we actually have pure intentions when we write this stuff. Of, of uh, Like, a, a lot of the time it'll be uh, Varys will be sitting there and he's like, I hate the United States Postal Service. They can never get anything right to me. And he's like, I'm going to write a, an article about how bad the Postal Service is and how the government makes everything else harder. And uh, and then we'll, we'll post it and then eventually it'll just get to the point where like, oh, we hate the Postal Service? <laughs> and people will see this, and they're like, oh, these people hate the Postal Service. I don't know what to do. You know, Postal Service, what the Postal Service ever do to them? 
uh, and then it gets to the point where you know, like various today, uh, when he he uh, uh, there were some issues with the law, and anyways, the state issued him a seven hundred and fifty dollar fine for something that was settled outside of court. And so he's just sitting there, and he's going, because you know the state, when when you settle something outside of court, the state needs money. Uh, and, and we were even talking about, and I was thinking of writing an article. I, I probably won't because I, I nef, never get the time, but I was thinking of that George Carlin uh, when he talks about how God loves you, and if you don't believe in him, he'll send you to an eternal pit where you will burn, and, and there will be gnashing of teeth and hatred and everything, but the state loves you. And the state needs money, um, <laughs> so I'm like replace God with the state. This, but he loves you, and he needs money. Um, that's basically how the state functions. Is oh, you settled this outside of court? Well, we love you, but we need money. Uh, and <laughs> you got a ticket? Oh, well, well, we want to we want to help you, but we need money. Um, so it. But uh, that's usually how things will go, and we'll take this and we'll we'll throw it into something. We'll make a post about it, and then it gets to the point where it's oh, uh, how how libertarian gaming hate hates cops. We don't hate cops. We hate the idea of cops. <laughs> um, we hate the state cop. We hate anybody, any, exactly. any state actor, anything. <laughs> because we hate the idea that the government is trying to put a gun to your head to make you do what they want. Uh, and, and and that's plain and simple. We, if uh, if uh, if someone was trying to extort you, put a gun up to your head and said, "Unless you give me eight thousand dollars, we would hate it just as much too," um, because that's that's a violation of the NAP and a whole a whole lot of other stuff. But that's when we get to these articles. You notice that's that's where we get to is like this is this is a viol. If someone else did this, it wouldn't be considered okay. Uh, and it's just that people look at it first and. And for good reason, they'll say, "Oh, well, this is an article about hating cops." No, it's it's an article about hating extortion, and by extension, hating the person who does it. Um, yes. So let's. I'm going to ask kind of the one controversial question, and it might not even be controversial. Uh, just something as a journalist, I guess, since I do an opinion show, or I don't know what you want to call me, but some sort of internet personality. I'd, I'd be a bad person if I didn't say this. Um, have there been any regrets uh, since starting Libertarian Gaming? Are you finding yourself too much in the spotlight? Are you finding yourself not enough? Uh, is there ways that you think things could have been run better earlier on? Or you know, are there things that can be improved going forward? Not necessarily on... You know, let's not even think about the tech stuff. Not even think about the design. Just the way things are delivered. Uh, you know, any regrets? Any things that can be built moving forward? Oh, uh, libertarian gaming had exceeded all of our expectations, like by exponential matters. Um, the only thing I, I, uh, the only personal regret I have is um, when I designed the first way the website worked. It was it was bad. It was completely awful. And Ferris is like, "This is just bad. I don't even know what to do with this." Uh, and I was like, I, "We should, probably shouldn't have published it until Ferris actually looked at it." But we did. We did anyways. Um, so it was this horrible mess. It was bad. It was awful. It looked horrible, but it had a lot of functionality. And uh, you know, just one weekend we stayed up all weekend and we fixed it. But uh, I probably would have wished that we had waited until we had fixed it and done it as a, a small network internet site and then released it from there. But that didn't happen, and that's fine. We got a lot of things fixed on the way, so... Right, right. Now, uh, something else we kind of just want to look back at. What's what's the fondest memories that you've got for this past year? Uh, is it the success of the Minecraft server? Is it the success of the just the Facebook page and the website in general? Uh, is there a particular post that maybe you were like, "Tee, this is fucking deviously brilliant," uh, or uh, is there uh, something that you guys that you're formulating in your head right now that's going to be the greatest thing ever? Uh, when we, uh, my biggest thing was a website because that that has taken up so much of my time and Varus's time, and getting everything fixed. Uh, uh, just the fact that it actually works and anyone can access it from from any computer. They can type in a, with a, the website address and it will send you directly to my house, um, which is uh, I, I think that's cool. You set up a server in your in your home and have a website on it. Um, 
and there are a lot of other things I didn't expect by when I got on Witchers earlier this year that by the end of this year we would be we went from maybe a hundred likes to fifteen hundred likes uh, about it's rounded uh, but uh, we didn't expect it to grow that fast. In fact, Varys was like, no, it's not going to grow that fast. Uh, and apparently it has. I, I still, you know, <laughs> I was just looking at the likes like a few days ago, and I could have sworn it was like 1,100. And I was like, oh, we're at 1,100? Man. And then it's, you know, it's about 1,500 now. So we're, it, it's it's going really well. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's just boomed. I mean, I remember when I jumped the board, uh, at least when I first liked it to begin with, uh, it was sitting, oh, what, 700, 800, something like that. Uh, and just to see it double, literally double almost, uh, in just the span of a couple of months, it, it just blows my mind. It just goes to show how people are either really, really ticked off at the system or these are all people who are sort of niche already in our camp uh, who just are like, ooh, hey, people who like games. I sit in my basement and I like to play games. It's uh, I've got a massive Steam library, which I'm currently working on. I've got all of two games in my Steam library now. Yay! Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's going to be so much fun. I think the saddest part is I have more Steams in my Mac Steam library than you do. That's really... Uh, I, because I, there are only, like, what, five games for Mac? And I have all five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, and I'll be honest, you guys have been pushed by all my friends and uh, by my girlfriend's brother and everybody to get Steam. Get Steam, just do it, you'll have some fun, and yeah, granted, I've never had a PC that's been much able to handle it up until recently, uh, and even then, I'm still working on doing a whole bunch of upgrades. I'm currently trying to save up, well, I'd say a little bit under $2,000 to really just beef out a machine so I can actually do good quality recordings and maybe also get rid of this stupid bullshit right here. Uh, this webcam is garbage, in my opinion. But I digress. Uh, just PC gaming is a lot more fun and attractive now, and I can see the allure to it. Um, so it's, I think it's great that we've got this community that I wish we could find a way to engage more. I wish the Facebook algorithms weren't so shitty. Uh, but just by sharing it out like we always do, you know, we're always all liking it from our personal, you know, Adam brought Stetson, whatever pages. You know, we're always pushing everything that we've got for the most part. And we've got just an awesome, awesome group of folks who are backing us up just about every single step of the way. Um, now I do want to digress just a little bit, uh, do a little rant of thank yous uh, for everybody at the Voluntary Virtues Network. Uh, sadly, I don't have anybody on from there, but uh, this is going to be my 27th episode, literally six months worth of content that I've been putting out here. And... Just the experience has been great. Without this, without this show, I would never have met guys like you, Stetson. I never would have met people like Varys, or I never would have been able to talk with uh, Chris Hayes of Shit Troop Supporters Today, or Norman Horn of Libertarian Christians, uh, or even John Payne of Show Me Cannabis. I mean, I, I've i had some pretty good heavy hitter, hitters. I got fucking Paul Elam from A Voice for Men. I mean, I couldn't even imagine doing that earlier on this year. And it's just really cool to see how the Liberty community can really prop everybody up. So I do want to thank everybody, uh, you, Stetson, Varys, uh, Chuck, and all the people who are watching this show or whoever will watch this show. You guys have made this all possible. Uh, you guys have inspired me to dress up like Santa and have some fun and just do things a little bit light and playful. Uh, it's, it's just such a joy to be able to put myself out in front of the community, uh, even putting myself in the line of fire from time to time and having to deal with a whole lot of butt hurt just by posting one or two silly, controversial pictures that in our community we're just like, bah, ha, 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 that's funny, moving on. And, uh, yeah, it is. It is. I, I enjoy the lifestyle. Um, so I kind of want to look ahead to next year. I know we've got some big plans. We've got the YouTube channel for Libertarian Gaming, of which I will, I don't want to take a leading role in, uh, but I'll be probably one of the, more frequent posters for that since, you know, I already do shit here. You know, why not add an extra 30-minute hours worth of content, you know, somewhere else on the internet? Uh, Stetson, do you have any plans of your own for YouTube content, or are you kind of just going to try to stay background as a ghost? Uh, I mean, I, I am kind of... I, I feel like I'm kind of the Yeti of the whole group. Uh, I think uh, because you, you never 
see me. <laughs> the only person who would be more of a Yeti is Gary because you never see Gary ever. Um, but sometimes he comes out. I come out a little bit more frequently, <laughs> but I'm usually in the background, uh, and it's simply because I'm so busy or because I'm working on something or a whole bunch of things uh, in, in between. Um, I'm hoping to be invited... I'll only come if I'm invited to the YouTube channel that I set up. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, where the fuck does that make sense, sir? You I set don't, up the channel and you're waiting to be invited. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, like an Apple Weekly or uh, maybe once a month. You know, hey, here's the. I mean, seriously. I mean, you do great tech reviews. You talk a lot. You know, you know what you're talking about every time you say something. You know. Uh, this I'm, I'm just gonna prod you a little bit. I think it'd be worth worth time because you're you're a very engaging fellow, and it's you're worth putting out in front of the camera at least once a month at the bare minimum. <laughs> uh, I think people would really enjoy the things you do. You know, uh, I, I I'm I'm uh, yeah I'm 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 kind of more of an apologist, whereas Varus is a lot uh, a lot more uh, straightforward with people. Uh, he'll flat out say exactly what is on his mind, and I'll get I'll do the roundabout way of saying it. So I, I try not to get too far in there because I'll just say uh, things that just so sound so diplomatic. I think it gets so boring. Um, but yeah, if there's if there's ever shows that that uh, people want my opinion on, uh, I can't give a lot of opinions. I'm not a console user. I don't even have a, a PC really. Uh -huh. I have I have a Mac that runs Windows on occasion. So I can't really say, well, PC hardware, because it's, it's not. Um, but uh, I, I know how PC hardware works, because Mac uses the same hardware. They just call it different things. Um, like, we don't have a motherboard. We have a logic board. and We don't have a screen. We have a <laughs> retina display. So uh, sometimes I'll, I'll come on, and I'll, I'll get my opinions on things. Um, uh, but I, I usually only wait until I'm invited. I don't, I don't ever invite myself to stuff. Most of the time, it's probably going to be Varys or, or Gary that are uh, going to be doing the majority of the shows, and then I'll come on whenever needed or wanted. <laughs> so. Well, I'll tell you what. What we need to do is uh, we'll do a little Let's Play series, you and I, of, of something down the road. You guys heard it here first. There is going to be a Let's Play series of some kind, of some length. It may just be a one-off series that's going to be a six-hour recording session in some game somewhere on the internet. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out because I, I definitely think that your style of humor, just hearing your little banter. You, I don't know if you've ever heard of the, the gamer SSOHPKC or Seamus uh, on YouTube, but you're kind of witty, just somewhat dry every once in a while, but a uh, really sarcastic <laughs> sense of humor that you've got. Uh, I think it fits so perfect for the internet where I can be just the screaming loudmouth bastard over here uh, to kind of offset that. So, uh, yeah, I definitely think it'd be worth our while to do something together. <laughs> and, I mean, uh, I was talking to Varys with, about this maybe two or three days ago. It, it may have been longer, but um, uh, we were talking about how we with the YouTube channel, we want to start up a Let's Play series where it's just us playing games, uh, multiplayer, and streaming it directly to the YouTube channel. But we're talking about like libertarian principles um, because I mean, you, even if you don't get connected to the libertarian principles, you get connected to the game. So it's like you're sitting there and you're watching the game, and you're like, ah, oh, I kind of understand what he's talking about. So we thought that would be kind of an interesting way of getting people to to come into the website. Uh, uh, of just doing an interactive play of uh, these games. Um, and of course, I'm going to be very limited on, uh, otherwise I have to do a lot of extra work in the background to make everything work <laughs> if I want it to run Windows, um, I, which I can. I, I, oh, one uh, of these speaking of, uh, I found a Pokemon game. I don't know if you're into Pokemon at all, uh, but it's called po oh, Pokemon yeah. Insurgents. There's a Reddit page, and there is Mac Links. Uh, I just started playing it today. My God! Oh, good. I mean, it's death. It's Pokemon. It's like super dark, adult sort of uh, Pokemon. It's everything that I could ever have dreamed of. Now, uh, check it out. It's it's very well made. It's still in beta, and they still haven't even finished the game yet. They're just releasing it in bits and uh, just seeing how people like it. But it's going to be free 100% when they finish it. It's a fan. Oh, it's a fan service game essentially that they wanted to do something for the community. Uh, so if you are into that sort of thing. Check that out. In fact, I want to do a Let's Play on that, assuming Nintendo is going to be a bastard, uh, with even just a little bit of sprites here and there that are pulled directly from the Pokemon games. But uh, that's neither here nor there. 
Um, any final thoughts you want to add, Stetson? Any predictions you want to make for the new year? Or uh, just anything you want to say to wrap up this year of 2014 while we press on to the future? Uh, well, I mean, I just I, I would like to thank all of the fans out there who actually stayed with us since from the beginning. Um, we've had a lot of, of uh, you know, of ups and downs where you know people just mass leaving, people people mass coming. Uh, so we really want to thank all the people who stayed. Uh, whether you agree with us or not, hopefully we can change your mind if you don't. Um, but we're glad you're there. Uh, also, uh, a lot of our our actual server result uh, issues have been resolved by a local company in Amarillo, Texas, uh, called Black Vault Electronics. I wanted to give a big uh, thank. Thank you to one of my Foley um, for uh, giving us a lot of help with uh, some of our hardware. Uh, amazing guys. If you're in the Amarillo area into retro gaming or building your own PC or just have need hardware and such, give them a call. Uh, you can you can uh, definitely get some info. Just Google Black Vault Electronics in Amarillo. Uh, but yeah, I just want to thank a lot all the people who helped us get this far. Uh, it's been one uh, one one fun ride. Yeah, oh, certainly, and it's been just as fun of a ride here on Liberty Sonos Republic High. Uh, this isn't the last show of the year, but on my show upcoming next week, unless I get a guest that's going to be you know, some kind of topical thing, it's going to be a, a look forward uh, to see what, what new things we can think of for the new year, and uh, maybe we'll have you on next week. Maybe I can get a whole crew of people, get a, a mass crazy show like Chuck usually pulls together, uh, but we'll see. Uh, time's about run out, so this will be Adam Brat signing off uh, on Christmas Eve, as when you guys are watching this at 9 a.m. Actually, you better not be watching this right at 9 a.m. on Christmas Eve. You better be opening, you better be wrapping your goddamn presents, because if you're not ready for Christmas, what's wrong with you? you be- <laughs> I mean, come on now. <laughs> you gotta have your gifts all lined up. I mean, it, you're fucked up. Or unless you celebrate some of the other holidays, in which case, you know, happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Flying Spaghetti Monster Holiday Season, whatever. Uh, just make sure you have yourself a great Christmas Eve. Uh, have a Merry Christmas, and if I don't hear from you uh, until after, you have a Merry Christmas too, sir, and we will be signing out. So thanks a lot, guys, and peace and love and liberty. <laughs>